Always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. 641 episodes. That's a lot. I, I mean, we've got to be, have the most episodes ever in an internet television show. Oh, Aston Martin, Lagonda, where have you gone? To the great concept car, Home in the Sky. Guess what? We'll have more on that. Also, a car for the blind, and we answer your most pressing rumor mill questions. What's up, everybody? I am Derek D, and you are watching Fast Lane Daily on a Tuesday. It's two for Tuesdays. You get, you get two hands. Fast Lane Daily. Aston Martin stunned the SUV world when it showed off its big, toothy Lagonda concept. Back then, Aston said production was just around the corner. Well, guess what? Forget about it. Edmunds Inside Line says Aston bosses have scrapped plans to build the Lagonda, which takes its name from the company's past luxury sedans. Aston Martin boss David Richards and others inside the company were reportedly none too pleased with the Lagonda SUV when it debuted at the Geneva Motor Show earlier last year. Awesome job. Thanks. Awesome. All right. You got the line. Yes, JF. That echoes some sentiments from motoring journalists. Inside line sources say Richards wants to forget the Lagonda ever existed and move on to another concept the company might actually want to build. Still, the Lagonda did get people talking, even if they did say it looks like crap. I don't know, I think it's pretty dope. So there. Actually, I really don't even care about the Lagonda, to be honest. <laughs> Let's move on. And a car for the blind? Perhaps, say students at Virginia Tech or VTech. Just kicked in, yo. A team of technology wizards at the University Hogwarts School of Awesomeness say they've designed a car that could one day allow blind and visually impaired people to drive without their currently annoying habit of crashing right into things. <laughs> Students fitted a four-wheel drive buggy with a system that uses audio cues, a tactile map, and laser rangefinders to let drivers control the vehicle without the use of their eyes. While other blind driver challenge vehicles basically drove themselves, this is the first that gives vision impaired motorists total control. No word on when such a car would, if ever, go into production, but we imagine it might be quite a few years, and honestly, take all the time you need. I'm just making sure you master the whole te technology first. All right. Next up, we answer your rumor mill questions. What's with the Honda's NSX replacement? We find out after this. Oh, and if you're watching on FastlaneDaily.com, here's the final Garage 419 video from the 2009 Bull Run Rally. If you're watching on YouTube, you gotta go to FastLaneDaily.com to watch the Bull Run Rally final. Bye. The order of cars on this highway is real cop, fake cop. Look at this guy's driving while filming. Oh my god. Holy. <laughs> and there's a real cop right behind me. A couple, a couple short miles later, and we catch up to a whole crew. We've got. Team STI, Team Chevelle, uh, Team Audi RS6. We've got uh, one of the SLs, I can't tell which one. Uh, team Camaro, which is formerly Team Buick Grand National, uh, until they blew up their engine yesterday, went out to a dealership and bought that baby cash for the new Camaro SS uh, with a manual transmission on the same day Chevrolet notified everyone that there is a recall of the manual transmissions. That thing is crazy. I ran it. I ran it. I ran a shitty ass time. Yeah, the girls beat you there. <laughs> Their truck's got a blower on it. There you go. 15 miles to destination, uh, which is in Slocum, Alabama. I can't even tell you the excitement and the fear I feel in this place. You got a V1? Yeah. Maybe yours is a piece of <laughs> Maybe, 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 maybe yours of is a truck <laughs> of a guy in Times Square for $20. You ever think about that, pal? Huh? It worked with that prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> You're cheat. You're cheaters. You're I'm gonna win. City of Niceville, is that a real place? Niceville, yeah. Like awesome. Thank you. Good. You gotta be careful. You're treating like a lot of the things. Oh, we know. We know. We don't go fast. He really is from Niceville. Yes. You are nice. Oh. All right, here's where it's 
skinny and nutty. All right, guys, it's Austin, Texas. We're here, we're finally here. As much as I love being in the car, I'm excited to be out of the car and uh, get some rest and cover my voice a little bit. But I hope you guys have enjoyed our coverage of the 2009 Bull Run Rally, New York to Austin, Texas. Make sure to go back and check out all the videos on it. I'm Matt Farah, one last time. You guys are watching Fast Lane Daily. Welcome back, everybody. Commenter Eddie LZ18 loves Hondas. So he asks a question that's been on the mind of Honda lovers for months. He writes, and we're paraphrasing, hey, is it true Honda is canceling the new NSX? What a shame. Yes, Eddie, it is a shame. Honda's former CEO, Takeo Fukui, announced last December the company would not go forward with the front engine V10 supercar it once had in development. That's the one Honda introduced as the advanced sports car concept at the 2007 Detroit Auto Show. Blame the global economic downturn. But these days, Honda has a brand new CEO, Takanobu Ito. Might he be of mind to reconsider and bring back those plans for the NSX replacement? Not likely. Ito said this week the packaging and efficiency benefits of front-wheel drive will take priority for Honda over any handling gains from a rear-wheel drive platform. That means no rear-drive luxury sedan for Acura, and sorry, Eddie, no NSX replacement. Maybe when the economy turns around or until the VTEC just kicked in, yo. I just used that joke before, but we use it again. It's called a callback. Anyway, keep those questions coming. Send them to tips at fastlanedaily.com or just drop them in the comments or hit us up on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash fastlanedaily or Twitter or Messenger Cat. I'm guessing that is a Messenger Cat. Well, that about does it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D. And you guys send in your roadkill videos. Seriously, send them in. Why not? We'll talk about it. Send in any video you got. You got. And what, what, what's, what car ran over that? What car, yeah, what car do you think ran over that? I'm gonna say a Dodge Sprinter ran over that right there. Blame the <laughs> Too early. It's too early. All right, we good? Go again? Blame the global, like, JF, we're, we're shooting. We good? Let's roll again. Blame the global economic, no, Ian, that's way too, way too low. Way too low, make it louder. Blame the global economic downturn. Blame the global economic downturn. Blame the global economical downturns of the society that harbor lightning and thunder. Blame the guy who sits at home and does nothing with his life and just gets money from everyone else that's working. Blame him for the global economic downturn. Also, you could even blame, here, here's someone you can totally blame. Blame, um, what's that guy's name? What? Well, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who to blame for the global economic downturn.